New Arkansas releasing a 14-minute film on ArkansasRazorbacks.com. Frank Broyles, Arkansas legend, a tribute to the Razorback icon who passed away one year ago. Mike Irwin has more on that story. A year after he left us, Frank Broyles' legacy continues in a brand new Broyles Center, which is about to open up on the north end of Razorback Stadium, and in the future of the school's football program, which, according to its newest head coach, will be modeled for success under a plan first laid out by Broyles. When when Arkansas was really, really in their in their heyday, what were they doing? They were doing a great job of recruiting into Texas and uh, in Tulsa and Memphis, and and in particular into East Texas. And so, uh, you know, that, again, that's, that's part of our footprint. That's, that's our, that, that is our footprint. His legacy also carries on in the many people he worked around all of those years, including his secretary, who remembers a fun and personal side of her boss. He would sneak down to Norm's office and get all the lemon jelly beans out of, out of the jar and then come back to his office. And his memory will continue on Coach Frank Broyles' day in Arkansas and with a second video to be released soon by his family. Today marks one year since we lost my grandpa and coach Frank Broyles. We all got together to share memories that cause us to miss him every day. And maybe most importantly, share some life lessons that he taught us. But to Razorback fans everywhere, Frank Broyles will simply be remembered as one of them, a fan's coach and AD who never forgot to honor the traditions that are important to them. Mike Irwin, 